Hey guys, we're back, and I hope you're ready for another fun installment. So, we're going to start this by going through the API Global Endpoints, which you might have already seen in the theme options. If you scroll all the way to the bottom um, on any stack, you're going to see your Global Endpoints. And if you didn't have any, it would look like that. So we're going to start off by just creating one um we're going to start the series with the pokemon api it is very simple as we see and it prides itself on being free so i'm hoping that means this project will just survive for a while so we're going to start with the endpoint which is the first one and i actually for this sample we're, there's no authentication so for the most part this is going to be it so I'm going to start with this I'm going to call it the pokey API um, and you'll see all the other different controls if you had um, authentication put it in here in a header and then you could use that in any sort of looper you'd want to so we're going to set a default cache time of, yeah, one day is probably good. Um, we are returning, it is returning JSON, which is pretty much what you're always going to be expecting. So that's why it's the default. And with that, we're done with our global. So let's start by creating a new page and um, start um, catching the Pokemon. So we can do Pokemon. Uh, I already, I already have one called Pokemon, so we're gonna do this Pokemon too. Actually, never mind. So, I just like to start published. Um, let's actually just remove everything on the site for now. Just get purely this. So, let's create. Um, we're gonna do columns, um, just so our ex friends can follow along with this one too going to start off by setting up the provider. Let's set up in the uh, section. Uh, and we're going to select external API global. Um, here you'll see others. I do, a, I have a code example one because you can just add a filter and create a global. Um, this is the one I created theme options. We're going to stick with that for now. And um, actually, first off, let's test this first with the API tester. So I'm going to move this here. And we'll probably just leave this up um, just as we develop. So I'm going to switch this to the external API. I'm going to switch to Pokey API. And like we saw in the first video, the default path just sends you back all the routes. So we're going to list Pokemon, which as we saw was just Pokemon. And so we're looking at results again. And this is what we're going to loop over. If you missed the first one, that's the data key as we see here. So if I did results, we're seeing this as just, or we're looping through just the list of Pokemon. So let's go back to the section and start using this. So Pokemon API select, we're gonna do Pokemon. Um, and then all the defaults are fine. We're gonna change that to that. And then um, we're gonna set the consumer up, which probably doesn't do anything at first because we don't have any data in it so to make sure we got something well now you'll see it pop up but that is not um, what we're going to use right now so set this up we're going to loop so it's called its name there and the other value it sends is the URL for other um, um, for the rest of the data. So 
usually you're going to get more data than just the name and the endpoint. Um, this one's clearly going for less data is better, which is fine because once we cache it, um, it's just going to be uh, stuff we reference through file. Um, we're going to switch from four to three. If you know anything about Pokemon, these are all evolutions of each other, and so it looks nicer with three now. Um, so text is fine there, right? We've just got the title, but let's get, we want more, right? You know, so, well, first, yeah, why don't we see what just one Pokemon output, uh, says. So it's by ID. I know from looking at the API, I'm pretty sure it accepts Pokemon name too, but we're just going to follow that, and so we should be getting Bulbasaur, right? So, slash one would just be the ID. This is what they're trying to grab, right? Oh, and so I've had data key set up, so that was not valid since there's no results. So, we're seeing abilities now, you know, all the good stuff. Um, what we're going to grab right now is the image and unfortunately this is where some API stuff can get um, hard to read um, so there's just a whole lot of stuff right um, Hmm. Here we go. Sorry. So in sprites, this is um so this is just what I'm looking for. I'm looking for images, right? And we see name pops up again. Um so since it's through an object, we're going to use dot syntax as it's called, and when so we've set the looper up right. Uh, no, we haven't. So if we if we go back to how we got this, we can actually just pass in another looper field, which would be URL. So let's frankly just go off that so we can just do straight up external API if there's authentication in this you probably wouldn't want to do this we're gonna look for looper field we're gonna look for, we're gonna we're sending an URL we're gonna send that and through that we're also gonna set this as the consumer so this is just one singular object right um, it isn't necessarily looper but we do need to grab it so if you if it's already an object and you set it up as a looper it's just going to loop through um, once as one object if you did loop keys we would actually loop through sprites would be its own looper field with that would be the index and then we go to species and you know all the other attributes so for this um, we're just going to loop once and then be able to, and I'm going to call this singular Pokemon grab, because that's what we're it's essentially working, working as. And with that, let's output the image. So right off the bat, it's not going to, oh, lost my scrolling. So we're looping through, so we're inside the consumer of the singular Pokemon grab. So any looper thing we use is going to be through this object we're grabbing here, right? So let's do that. So this is a bit of an obtuse example because it's a very long, so we're going through the sprites object right here. Now we're going through other, I've, lo I've looked at the other ones, um, the other images, this one that I'm going to grab is my favorite. So other 
home. So we're in sprites, other home, now to front default. And with that, uh, it just loaded. Cool. So with minimal effort, maybe a little bit of searching, we've now done two loops, one to loop through Pokemon and one to grab just this image and um, and it just just like that um, we're gonna let's leave it for here um, I was gonna I was thinking about going through dynamic content so we could have um, sort of bypassed this by setting up um, an API call here um, you would then do you know your API global you would it would be the Pokemon ID now you would have to well I know the API can send the name so you would just have it this says Pokemon then slash um, in this case it would be DC looper it's a bit complex here which is why I lean on just having a singular looper um, but we're gonna I'm gonna just trying to demonstrate right now that if I was just trying to grab one field we could do something like this so we would loop through name like that and then we would use key through that because any array you pass in to dynamic content if you use key you can actually grab just a singular key out of that and then we would pipe in, pipe in you know sprites other home front default um, the output of that would be a pretty long dynamic content but it's amazing what you can do with it so hope this was helpful um, look look forward to seeing what you build for one and we're gonna continue this um, in the next video I think we're gonna do either um, user input or um, s maybe switch to XML and just go through a couple of other ex simpler examples well much love have a great day